Welcome back to my Cisco Ice series. This week we talk about MAB. And what is MAB? MAC Authentication Bypass. Authentication Bypass. It's not a secure way to connect devices to the network wired or wirelessly, but oftentimes organizations have to use it because there's devices out there that perhaps can't connect with 802.1x. So how do we connect those devices? Using their MAC address. But that's not secure because the MAC address can be spoofed and an attacker can then connect to the network. However, there are other ways to do things. Perhaps we can combine profiling with that and make things a little bit more secure. This week, we're going to spend some time looking at a simple MAB policy in my lab. All the devices in my lab authenticate with MAB. So I want to change that, and that's what we're going to do with Cisco Identity Services Engine. Let's make things a little bit more complicated over the next couple of weeks. But today, we'll explore MAB. So what have we learned in the last minute? One, that MAB is not secure. Two, sometimes you have to use it. If you have these devices that don't support 802.1x, how do you get them to your wireless network? How do you get them to your wired network? That's where MAB comes in. But it is authentication bypass, so it's not secure. and do you want thousands of devices like that on your network? No, it's a security concern, and that's a lot of devices to manage. So let's try to do things a little bit better, and that's what I want to do here in the lab, is over time, I want to move over to 802.1x. I want to use multi-factor authentication. There are so many things you can do, especially when you have a platform like Identity Services Engine. Today, though, we're simply looking at MAB. So I'm going to take the MAC address from my cell phone, and let's add that in so I can authenticate to an SSID. That SSID has a pre-shared key, but I'm also requiring that MAC address to be in a certain endpoint group in ICE. So let's take a look at that. We'll go over to Context Visibility. We'll go to Endpoints. And in this list, we'll, we'll find uh, some MAC addresses already. However, I, I'm, my cell phone is missing, so I'm going to click Add. And here, I will paste my MAC address for the cell phone. And then I'm going to put a nice description that nobody will ever read, cell phone. Then we will assign that MAC address to an endpoint group here. And if we go over, we'll see DAVNet devices. So you can create this group first, and that's where you can put the MAC address. We'll click Save. So that's in there. However, before we try to do anything, let's take a look at the policy. We'll go to policy and we'll click on policy sets. And I already have this policy in the lab. And this policy is looking for wireless MAB. So pretty much there's going to be a timeout. We're not going to see any EAP communication. We're not gonna see anything from the client because this client does not talk or connect using 802.1x. So there's going to be a timeout. And as soon as there's some additional communication, a packet, we're going to take that MAC address and we're going to try to authenticate the client, that device using the MAC address. And as you can see there, there's some hits for the lab. Let's dive into this a little bit. I know it says authentication and we're looking at authentication bypass, but really all I'm doing here is, is that MAC address somewhere in my internal database in ICE. And it is, we just added that, that cell phone in. However, we can drill down a little bit further. So if we take a look at the authorization policy, we'll see two things here. We'll see that I have a rule name, Davnet Mac Ads. And what I'm looking for here is simply MAC addresses, devices that are in DAVNet devices. If those devices match, I want to permit access. If they don't match to that particular group, that I want to just deny access. I don't want them to the network. But again, it's the MAC address. Let's say somebody spoofs that cell phone. Now they're able to connect that cell phone MAC. Now they're able to connect. So you can see that there is limitations when it comes to security there. We want to do additional things. We want to check posture. We want to see if these devices are healthy. Is this really the device that's connecting to the network? We want user authentication. However, it's a simple way to do things. And that's what I want to change up in the lab. So as we can see here, everything is ready and set to go. So let's go over to operations and we'll go over to live logs. And we'll see some older logs there. Let's change this 
to the last 60 seconds. And now I'm going to attempt to connect my cell phone. Now, one of the things that I'm noticing, as you can see there, is that my private Wi-Fi address is on. So the MAC address is different and it's not allowing me to connect because that's not the MAC address that's in the list. So I want to change that and I want to turn it off. It's going to give me the tracking information here. And then we're going to try and connect again. Now we should see something positive pop in. Let's take a look, there we go. So now that's the right MAC address that I allowed in the list that you saw earlier. Again, this is the MAC address, the random MAC address that I was trying to connect to. So as you can see there, we weren't allowing that MAC address in. Let's take a look at some of the details here in the report. And this is a great place to see if you're trying to troubleshoot, you're trying to figure out what's happening. Uh, but you can pretty much see here that that MAC address was added to, and it will hit this group in the policy, this rule in the policy, that DAVNET MAC adds rule that I had. Uh, so this is a, a good authentication here. Again, authentication in quotes, DAVNET devices, that's the identity group that that MAC address was in. But let's go back because I want to take a look at the ones that were not working. Let's click on that. And we can see here that, hey, we, we tried to connect, we were rejected. This MAC address is, is nowhere to be found, which is a great thing. So, you know, I wouldn't call this, again, the most secure thing out there, uh, but random MAC addresses are not going to connect. Again, you can spoof a MAC address. So there are better ways to do that and uh, do things and authentication and make sure that your devices can connect properly to the network in a secure way. We want to do those things, especially when you have a platform like ICE. And that's what we're going to do in the lab in the next couple of weeks. For now, you saw a simple example of what MAB can do. I'll see you on the next one.